So, how was your trip to Egypt? You really are a world traveler, aren't you? It was really great. The pyramids and temples were incredible. And I even rode a camel through the desert. You rode a camel? Wow, that is so cool. I want to ride a horse, but I'm not so sure about a camel. Have you ever ridden a horse? A horse? Yes, I have. I've ridden a horse twice in my life. Oh, wow. Did you like it? Yes, I did. It was a really great experience. Horses are so beautiful and powerful. It's my favorite animal. Yes, they are amazing animals. So, how many countries have you traveled to? I've been to 32 countries so far and counting. 32 countries? Wow, that's so cool. What was your favorite country? That's a difficult question. But I would have to say Thailand. Thailand was really spectacular. The food, culture, and people are really unbelievable. I've been there three times. Three times? Wow, you're so lucky. Did you eat any interesting or strange dishes? Strange dishes? Hmm. Actually, yes. I did try some pretty interesting dishes. I tried some fried insects and dancing shrimp. Fried insects? Ew. That doesn't sound good at all. Dancing shrimp? You mean they were still alive? Yes, they were. Actually, they were both quite tasty. I was really surprised. You know what they say when in Rome. No, thank you. I would never eat fried insects or anything that is still alive. What else did you do there? I traveled to quite a few places. I started in Chiang Mai, which is in the north of Thailand, and went all the way down to Phuket. I hiked some really fun and adventurous trails in the north of Thailand. I took some cooking classes. And I learned how to make some really delicious Thai dishes. I rode an elephant and I visited some beautiful temples. I met a lot of really nice, fun, and interesting people along the way. I haggled in many markets all over Thailand and I bought some really cool souvenirs. Oh, and I watched several Thai boxing matches. Wow, that all sounds like so much fun. Have you ever tried Thai boxing? Actually, yes, I did. I took a few lessons when I was there. It was a lot of fun, but it hurt a little bit. Oh, no, did you get injured? Nothing too bad. But I was messing around with my friend Joe, and he kicked me in the mouth by accident. My mouth bled for hours. It was fairly painful. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, sorry, I don't mean to laugh. But that is pretty funny. 
It sounds like it was a really wonderful experience. Yes, I've been quite lucky to have traveled so much in my life. So, where will you go next? Well, nothing too exciting. I'm going to LA next week. But this time it's mostly business. LA? Next week? You're so lucky. Have you ever met anyone famous? Have I ever met anyone famous? Hmm. Yes, I have. I met Brad Pitt about five years ago. It was totally by chance. I was on vacation in Hawaii, and we just happened to be staying at the same hotel. I ran into him in the elevator. I took a selfie with him. Unfortunately, it all happened so quickly that I didn't get his autograph. Ah,、uh, that's too bad. But it's pretty neat that you got a selfie with Brad Pitt. Have you ever been on TV, Tony? Yes, I've been on TV. But it was no big deal. I was interviewed once by a local news station about how I felt about the new strip mall that had just opened. Oh, I could never speak in front of a camera. Weren't you nervous? Not at all. I took acting classes when I was in university. I see. Have you ever given a public speech in front of a large audience? Yes, many times. I have to speak in front of people all the time for my job. I have to make presentations to my colleagues at least once per week. I speak in front of very large crowds of people at conferences all over the world. It doesn't bother me at all. So you don't get stage fright at all? That's impressive. Well, I used to worry that people might find my presentation so boring that they would fall asleep. That would have been really embarrassing. Luckily, that has never happened. Knock on wood. Ha <laughs> ha, yes, that would be embarrassing. Have you ever fallen asleep in the middle of a meeting or presentation? No, I've never fallen asleep in the middle of a meeting or presentation before. I have fallen asleep on the train a couple of times, though. The last time was really terrible. I really learned my lesson. I missed my stop, and it was the last train. So I had to take a taxi home. It was really expensive. And I didn't have my credit card because I lost it. It fell out of my pocket when I was sleeping. The taxi driver was really nice. And he let me pay the next day. I bought him a gift certificate to a really nice restaurant to show my gratitude. Oh no! That's terrible and lucky at the same time. I hope you got him a gift certificate to a good restaurant. Recently, someone gave me a gift certificate to a store that I can't stand. Of course, I couldn't say anything to them. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Have you received a gift that you didn't like? Oh, many times. That's a really tough situation to be in, isn't it? It sure is.